What's good people, Samurai Lee here, back for another fight talk in association with Combat Docket. It's been so long since I've done one of these. Um, I apologise, there's been so much going on. I've been at so many boxing shows. Carl Greaves' matchroom show last night, which I'll go over. Um, obviously a full-time job as well, so it's been a little while since I've done one of these. Um, so let's get into it. Um, last Saturday, Anthony Crawler trying to defend his uh, WBA lightweight title and as well as unifying the titles with a great fight with Jorge Linares. Um, I think it was a, a fight that, uh, it, you know, everyone knew it was going to be a tough fight for Crawler. Linares is a tough, tough man and I think it showed, you know, he, Linares got the got the scorecards, um, he got the victory on the scorecards, rightly so. I had him winning by a, a good clear three or four rounds maybe. Um, really good fight. Respect to Anthony Crawler for taking it. I'm sure he'll be back. Um, but for Lenar, you know, he moves on now. He's a unified champion. And he'll get some big fights out there now. Last night um, in York Hall, it's a, fight. It's, it's, a, it's a show that wasn't televised. It was a matchroom show. It'll be on Sky On Demand pretty soon, I, I believe. Um, some really good fights. Felix Cash. Uh, Ted Cheeseman, Craig Richards, Jake Ball, Reese Bellotti, all in action. And then the main event, the, the fight of the night, um, Isaac Chamberlain, he was 5-0, challenging Wadi Camacho, who's, it was for a uh, cruiserweight uh, Southern Area title. And Wadi Camacho's been around for a long time, really experienced guy. And that fight turned out to be one of the best fights I've ever seen live. You know, I think I was a row or two back from the ring. The atmosphere in the place was insane. Isaac Chamberlain, his fans are mental. There's hundreds of them. It was insane. Um, you know, I think it was the end of the third round. Isaac Chamberlain dislocated what looked like a dislocated shoulder. You could see it protruding out. He was he was in agony. Um, I think they were very very close to stopping the fight. And Isaac Chamberlain was having none of that. He got back to the corner and put his own shoulder back in. He got his cornerman to pull it round, mess about with it, get it back in. He had a few rounds where he basically dictated the fight with the jab because he couldn't throw the right hand. And as the fight went on, um, he, he was uh, he felt more comf uh, comfortable and confident to throw the right and landed some great right shots on Wadi Camacho. Wadi's he's a uh, he's a uh, very unorthodox southport. He, he's quite clumsy. He's quite he's quite lethargic. He's quite slow, but he's strong, powerful. Um, and you know, if you ain't on your game, Camacho will, will hurt you. But Isaac Chamberlain was so smart for such a young man. His, you know, he he boxed excellently, and as I say, with the injury, to get the victory as he did on the judges' scorecards, it was unbelievable. What an atmosphere in York Hall last night, um, and what a fight! One that I'm not going to forget in a hurry, that's for sure. Um, tomorrow night I'm at a Mickey Heliot show also at York Hall, Hellraiser Boxing some great fights, I'm looking forward to on that, it's a massive bumper night of fights, there's like 16 fights I think so lots and lots of fights going on in there, um, some more big shows coming up in the future, next Friday uh, Dillian White and Ian Lewison for the British Heavyweight title fight, uh, sorry for the British Heavyweight title I'm going to have both of those guys on my Fight Talk podcast um, on Sunday night that I run with James from Round 8 um, so be sure to, to you know to have a look at that because that's going to be great. Both guys on the podcast on one night. Um, I've had some great interviews over the past few weeks on Carl Greaves' show with Jack Healy, Taylin Jones, um, Jake Ball, um, and last night Umar Sadiq uh, and uh, Ben Hall. Sorry, last time Jake Hall last night. Lots and lots of interviews knocking about on my channel. Some great content. Make sure you like and subscribe and get involved. Uh, Fight Talk is now on Facebook. Facebook Fight Talk One, Samurai Lee on Twitter, um, Fight Talk One on YouTube. Be sure to get involved. CombatDocket.com. See you soon.